hi students i hope all are fine so we had finished the chapter the truly, truly beautiful mind and we were just dealing with some of the questions and answers so in today's class what we would do is we would continue with the chapter why filling up the task or clearing, um, clarifying the task and some grammar parts okay so we shall just enter into the class okay first is thinking about the language okay here are some sentences from the story choose the word from the brackets which can be substituted for the italicized words in the sentences okay which can be substituted for the italicized words in the sentences so what we need to do we need to read these sentences okay and see there are certain words given in italics so we can substitute these words with some of the words which are given in the bracket okay so i'll, re I'll read it and give you the answer a few years later the marriage faltered a few years later the marriage faltered so uh, we can substitute this word falter with some of the words which are given here in the bracket okay we can the most appropriate word would be became weak okay a few years later the marriage faltered means the marriage became weak and second one einstein was constantly at odds with people at the university okay there are there are three uh, three phrases in the in the bracket so we can find out on bad terms in disagreement unhappy so einstein was constantly at odds with people at the university at odds well, how what can we write on bad terms or in disagreement or unhappy okay so we can write at odds means in disagreement okay in disagreement with people at the university okay then the newspapers proclaimed his work as a scientific revolution so the word is proclaimed so we can say is it declared or praised or showed so we can say uh, we can say we can substitute this word proclaimed with praised the newspapers praise his work as a scientific revolution the next one einstein got ever more involved in politics agitating for an end to the arm building arms build up so what is it is it campaigning fighting or supporting okay we can write the word most appropriate would be campaigning okay campaigning or fighting also can come no problem okay but most appropriate would be campaigning einstein got ever more involved in politics campaigning for an end to the arms build up fifth one at the age of 15 einstein felt so stifled that he left the school for good okay so what is it for his benefit would be the appropriate one okay for his benefit for good means for his benefit then five years later the discovery of nuclear fission in berlin had american physicists in an uproar so what is it is it in a state of commotion or full of criticism in a desperate state so in an uproar would be in a desperate state because they did not know what was going to happen whether the nazis would use it for destroying the world okay so they were in a desperate state then science wasn't the only thing that appealed to the to the dashing young man with the walrus mustache so the word most appropriate would be interested okay interested all right the next one is study the following sentences okay study the following sentences and what you need to do you need to see what is the difference or what is what is that we are going to learn okay so einstein became a gifted amateur violinist 
maintaining this skill throughout his life maintaining this skill throughout his life then second one let us survive in which they put their affection into words mixing science with tenderness okay so we have two sentences and we have some words given in italics okay so after the comma we have a phrase given in italics okay maintaining this skill throughout his life then mixing science with tenderness okay so if you see we can see that these words when the italicized words are starting with the ing verbs isn't it maintaining and mixing so these words are called participle phrases okay these phrases are called participle phrases okay what do you mean by a participle phrase so participle phrases say something more about the person or thing talked about or the idea expressed by the sentence as a whole okay so participle phrases means they give more or they talk more about the person or idea expressed in the for in the previous sentence or in the sentence as a whole okay participle phrases say something more about the person or thing talked about or the idea expressed by the sentence as a whole okay for example einstein became a gifted amateur violinist full stop he maintained this skill throughout his life so we can write it in this way these are the these are two sentences but we made it into one sentence okay using this participle phrase so we, how we could get einstein became a gifted amateur violinist maintaining this skill throughout his life okay so we shall just see some of which and answer it okay complete the sentences below by filling suitable participle clauses so the information that has to be used in the phrases is provided as a sentence in bracket okay the information that has to be provided is given in bracket so we need to write it okay first one dash the firefighters finally put out the fire they worked around the clock so what will it be oh working around the clock the firefighters finally put out the fire okay working around the clock the firefighters finally put out the fire then she watched the sunset above the mountain <coughs> so the bracket what is given in bracket is this she noticed the colors blending softly into one another so what can we, what can we write it she watched the sunset above the mountain noticing the colors blending softly into one another noticing the colors blending softly into one another the third one the excited horse poured the ground rapidly while it neighed continually okay so how can we write it while neighing continually the excited horse poured the ground rapidly okay while neighing continually the excited horse poured the ground rapidly okay so just go through 4th 5th 6th and 7th and see whether you can write the answer by yourself okay for last four four words okay now next what we have is a writing of a newspaper report okay writing of a newspaper report so here are some notes which you could use to write a report okay which you could write a report it just like this last time i remember while writing the examination some hints were given and you were asked to write a story okay so like that you have certain hints given 
and you need to write a report okay so this report should be written in four paragraphs okay we will come to that okay this report should be written in four paragraphs how it is we are we shall tell you what are the things that should be written in the all these four paragraphs we will tell i'll tell you once we finish this okay so first we shall just read these hints 21st august 2005 original handwritten manuscript of albert einstein unearthed by student rowdy boynik in the university of the netherlands boynik researching papers papers belonging to an old friend of einstein fingerprints of einstein on these papers 16 page document dated 1924 einstein's work on on this last theory behavior of atoms at low temperature now known as the bose einstein condensation the manuscript to be kept at leiden university where einstein got the nobel prize okay these are the hints given and we need to write a newspaper a report okay as i said there should be four paragraphs okay manuscripts okay before that i'll just tell you what do you mean by manuscript manuscript means it's a written copy okay written copy of something okay so einstein's manu manuscripts means what einstein had written by himself okay in his own handwriting that is manuscripts so manuscripts of einstein was unearthed okay manuscripts of einstein was unearthed okay unearthed means it was excavated it was under the ground so unearthed means it was excavated or it can also be said it is a unearthed in in the proper sense of proper meaning would be excavating unearthed means excavated or if it is a it is found from somewhere also we can write the meaning as a unearthed okay they have found it from somewhere so we can also write the meaning as unearthed okay so we have four we need to write it in four paragraphs which are the paragraphs okay the first paragraph should include what was unearthed okay what was unearthed second one who unearthed it and when okay third one what the document contained and fourth where it will be kept okay so these are the four things and these four hints should be made it into four paragraphs okay and the report can be begun like this we will do this as a worksheet okay we will do this as a worksheet okay complete the newspaper report you may begin like this that is student unearths einstein manuscript 21st august 2005 an original handwritten albert einstein manuscripts has been unearthed at a university in the netherlands okay so you have to continue and finish this newspaper report okay so i hope you will do it and you have understood what you need to write and you have understood the class we have taken today so thank you and bye